Hello and welcome everybody, this is your host, Leovac, and you are just in time for more Undertale. In the last episode, we met Sans and Papyrus, the Font Brothers. They're not officially named the Font Brothers, a lot of people call them that because of their, uh, their, relation, their names being uh, puns on the actual Comic Sans and Papyrus fonts found in programs such as Microsoft Word. We also met, uh... Doggers? The uh, blind dog who can only see movement. This is a bit crazy. And in this episode, we're gonna hit these his. Hers. Aww! We're with our married couple. That's cute. So you can go down here. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow... It's a snow decahedra, and that's it. Okay. That's, that's a little hard to read. Kevin! I hope you're ready for... Sons! <coughs> mm. mm. As a reminder for those who haven't been keeping up, it is really hard for me to do do my papyrus voice because my throat is my throat dries out a little quickly because I'm I've been talking right now but I've actually been doing this for about an hour and a half so I'm gonna, I, I, I'm trying to get it to the point where I can do it keep it at a low keep it at a low enough vo low enough tone and not burn my, not scratch my voice out. Sons, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids Ward Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? I see. I get it, I see! <laughs> uh, so let me see... Fall... We can't actually do anything with it, but I do believe this can be solved. I... I always want to try this. cigars and sig at the bottom. There's monster, the third from the bottom, fourth from the top, in the middle. Um, that, uh, G.S. is the entire top row. Um, let's see if we can find Hot. Hot is down uh, fourth from the end at the top. It's uh, vertical. Let's see. Oh, Robot is right there beside Hot. Oh, two on, two on the other side. It's at the end. Um... Okay, I think that's all. I think that's all. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna do. Sans! That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Trumbull is easily the hardest! What? Really? Dude, that easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones! Unbelievable! Human! Solve this dispute! Which is harder, jumble or crossword? Uh, I'm gonna say jumble, because crossword's really just a matter of uh, endurance. Haha, <laughs> yes! Humans must be very intelligent! We also find junior jumble so difficult! <laughs> Thanks for saying junior jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stuck trying to solve the horoscope. Uh, I'm gonna print that for later. Print screen that for later. <laughs> I'm probably gonna forget that too. So nuts from papyrus. Cameron, please enjoy the spaghetti. Oh, do you know the spaghetti is a trap? 
Designed to entice you! Let me so busy eating it! But you won't realize that you aren't progressing! Girls are shaped again by the great Papyrus! Yay! <laughs> papyrus. P.S. Please make sure I put... Please make sure I plug in the microwave. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to... Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. Go ahead and save the spaghetti. And I want to see if this does the squeaking as well. It does! What's this? It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Dog marriage. Oh, wait. Ice Captain Snurder confront you, sighing. And Jerry. Yeah, so, Jerry. Everyone knows Jerry. Makes attacks two seconds longer. Guys, it's cold. Does anyone care? <laughs> Jerry is a guy that you. nobody likes. So go ahead and ditch Jerry. You and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Better not snowflake out! So yeah, um... Looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? Better not snowflake out! So yeah, the attacks are easier, but also because they have because like when you have multiple enemies, the attacks are easier. But at the same time, because you have multiple enemies to deal with, they are a little harder. So you're not looking at attack. Team defeated. Get your own twerk. So Jerry's back. Smells like a wet pillow. We'll go ahead and spare. Wow, you guys suck at this. Chill out! Oh, this does actually make them last a little longer. <sighs> we'll go ahead and ditch Jerry. My babe I cereals. Frosted. I actually kind of like frosted cereals too. Smells like a wet pillow. Laugh. Laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs? That was wrong! Ooh, almost got hit there. Snowdrake is pleased with this cool joke. I, I like how you can see Snowdrake actually smiles there when you spare him. Okay, so we got nothing up here. I think that's for after we get done it down here. Hmm. Wonder what this is. Oh we have to press the button. Okay. We have to actually press A to, to interact with it. Backwards. What's that smell? Where's that smell? You're a smell. Identify yourself. Uh. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Dog I assault you. Dogami and Dogarisa. Oh, they're nuzzling noses. That's cute. Let's see. Dog Amy. Dog Amy. Husband of Dogarisa. Knows only what he smells. Take my wife, please. Don't actually. <laughs> so this one I believe can be a little difficult if you don't know what you're doing, but you just basically move between the axes when they're up. And their axes protect each other. So go ahead and check Dog Risa. 
This puppy finds her hubby lovely. <laughs> Smells only? Number two, Nuzzle Champs. 98. Of course we were second. Ouch. <laughs> Dogs are practicing for the next couple of contests. So let's uh, roll around. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail. Do you guys have tails? Dog may want to re smell you. Re smell. That's rolling in the dirt. You smell alright. What? Smells like a. Are you actually a little puppy? Uh oh. Be a lost puppy, you know, pet, pet dog of me. Whoa, pet by another pup. Oh, don't leave me, but don't leave me out. <laughs> this is adorable. I don't know how else to say it. This is just adorable. Dog said you might be a lost puppy. You pet dog, Ressa. Dog that pets dogs, amazing. Dog's minds have been expanded. <laughs> this is adorable. <coughs> dogs can pet other dogs. Any world has opened up for us. I think we'll learn parentheses that's do uh, dog Rasa. Thanks, weird puppy. I guess maybe that's supposed to be like she's she's soft spoken. Hmm. So I just need them to be O. Turn every X into an L, then press the switch. So yeah, if you get it wrong, you can press the switch and it resets it. Um, but yeah, you only want to go through the uh, those switches, the uh, X's and Y's. Otherwise, it won't. Otherwise, it uh, you have to reset it. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Uh. No, we left it. Really? Wowie! You resisted the flavor of my homemade pasta and trust that you could share with me? For it not even, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing you can say that makes them sad. Yeah, um... No, oh. Well, I mentioned earlier how the outfit looks a lot like the uh, the Starman's outfit. I probably should have mentioned. I probably should have uh, stated this isn't. This is when you see the in battle animation. Out here, it only vaguely looks like it. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of them. Yeah. Hmm. Human. Um. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to ride, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow look like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere to be found. I suppose what I, what I am saying is, Why not, human? I, the great fire, still saw this conundrum. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. So, there's actually an easy solution. You can hit a switch on this tree here. Um, if you talk to Pyrus, he'll, let, he'll tell you about it. Um, but I think... Hmm. Me. I think I'm going to try it myself. Okay, that didn't work out. Okay, um... Ooh, wait, 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 I'm maybe overthinking this. Dang it! Ah, crap. Crap, that's good. Okay. Okay. There we go, 
Okay. Sorry if I'm not saying much here, uh... After talking for almost two hours straight, it's a little, uh... Wow! You solved it! And you did it without my help? Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! It might even be too easy for you! Yeah! <laughs> Do we go up here? There's a switch on the trunk of this tree. Press it? Yes. So yeah, um, you can also find out about the switch in the tree by talking to Papyrus. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great factory office! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electrical. It will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are warm tiles. Swim through them if you like. But if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap. Purple tiles are slippery. Just slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which products do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Yeah, that sounds... that makes sense. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been solved before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Hmm. Huh. Just speechless. Uh, the machine isn't working. Uh, of course. Actually, that's beginning from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. But if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Oh, it's a cute little puppy! On the floor inside the box of Palmer Raisins. <laughs> Aware of dog, please pet dog. This dog is staring blankly in the snow, waiting for its turn into art. <laughs> Let's see what this guy has to say before we say. A dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode off here for now. So in the next episode, we'll continue onward and work out. <sighs> Excuse me. <sighs> like I said, I've been going on for about two hours. I'm surprised it took me this long to be on. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll be dealing we'll, uh, be dealing with some more of Papyrus's puzzles, and we'll be solving some of them. Until then, however, I'll see you guys later.